Hi guys. All right, so for our yoga stretches today, we're going to focus on our lower body. Um, and I have about seven or eight different poses we're gonna do for our stretch. And then later on, we're gonna go into a sequence um, that will target um, our lower body. All right, so let's begin. So first we're just gonna bring our right foot to our right hand, All right? Just breathing into that. If this is too difficult, you can just like let go like this and just holding for two to three breaths if you want to challenge you could also grab your both uh, hands to your right foot feeling that stretch in your hamstring and the top of your legs bringing it down bring your left foot up again whatever's more comfortable for you we're just working on stretching out our lower uh, legs and again, alleviating some pain that we had, maybe tension in our lower back as well. All these stretches are gonna prepare us for our sequence later on in the week. All right, next we're going to extended triangle. So legs apart, right arm down, left arm up. You wanna open up your chest and look up to the sky. Everything's for about two to three breaths with the stretch. And of course, whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other. So going to our left side, left arm down, right arm up. And then to get a nicer stretch, you want your palm open, you're gonna twist off of that, of your foot. So you could twist for your lower back. You're looking up. Coming back up, going right into a downward dog. So you want your hands to touch the floor and bring your feet back and just drop your head and going into the stretch. Now here, this is what I love about cameras, it's so much fun. Okay, so here, your feet are hip width apart, right? And now if you can't, I'm going, huh, if you can't bring your feet down, like you're, that's okay, some people can't do that, right? But just try to go back into it with your feet shoulder width apart, your hands also shoulder width apart, and just try to feel your lower uh, calves, and just breathe into the stretch. Next, we're gonna do the pigeon. So with the pigeon, you're going to, let's do our left foot first. So the left knee comes up, right leg goes down, and then you're gonna cross it over. Mm, let's see if we can see that. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Now we got it. Okay, so so let's just say we're from here, right? From, from here. Then left knee up, cross it over, right leg down, bring it back, right? So it should look like this. Hands on the side. Now if you want, if, if it's more comfortable for you, you could have your hands like this and arch your back. Your knee is down and your back foot is down. If you want to go a little bit lower, you can bring your elbows down, your hands down, and go deeper into the stretch. Your, the purpose is just to open up your hips and go a little bit deeper into the stretch because your, your, your back, your, your legs, your muscles are tight. Breathing into it. Then coming back up, you're going to tuck your toe, Bring it up, bring your left foot back, right knee up to your chest, bring it over, down, knee down, left foot back, same thing. Arch it back, two, three breaths, or again, come lower into the stretch. Another excellent um, stretch for your back is cat cow so you take your knees now you're on all fours hands are underneath your shoulder uh knees are shoulder um, hip width apart and from here you're going to breathe in and you're going to arch your back then you're going to breathe out and curve your spine 
Again, you're going to breathe in, arch, breathe out, curve. Let's do it one more time. Breathe in and arch, breathe out and curve. From here, we're going to just bring our feet forward together and you're going to do butterfly legs. Just all opening up your hips. You don't have to push it down, just gently and comfortably, whatever is comfortable for you. From here, you want to come down, go as far as your body can comfortably go. You could drop your head, holding for two to three breaths. Slowly coming up, and then we're going to a recline twist like we did last week. So how does that go? Legs out. There we go. So legs are out. We're gonna bring our body down. So your right leg is down, your left knee is up. Right hand on your knee, left arm out. And you're going to go opposite directions. So then, you're bringing your left knee to your right side, and then your left arm is out and you're looking over your left, and you should feel it here, all this region, holding for three breaths. Excellent, coming back down, left leg down, right knee up, left hand on your right knee, Bringing it to your left side, right arm is out, and you're looking over your right shoulder. You could also do this for a, um, a spinal twist when you're sitting down, but you could throw on the floor as well. And then lastly, you're going to come up. So how you're gonna come up to a seated forward bend is you're just gonna rock back and forth. You come up the first time. We need a little bit more, whoop, come up that way, okay? And our last uh, stretch is a seated forward bend. So here you're gonna sit on your sitting bones, legs out. You're gonna breathe in, extending and elongating your spine, breathing out, going into a deeper stretch. Again, you could grab your you grab your big toe, you grab the sides, whatever's more comfortable for you. If you cannot do that, you could also grab your ankles. But your objective is to go elongate and deeper, holding for three breaths. Trying to get your nose to your knees. Coming up. And I always like to end every session with a little breathing. So we're going to breathe in for four, hold for six, out for eight. You could do it in through your nose, hold it for six, and you choose out through your mouth or out through your nose for eight. I'm going to do out through my mouth. Two rounds. So breathe in, hold. and out for eight. In for four. Hold. And out for eight. Thank you guys for having a nice stretch with me this morning, afternoon, evening, whichever one. And I'm going to be posting tomorrow um, the breath work. I'm going to do four rounds of uh, alternate nostril breathing. And the following day will be four rounds of the sun salutation. And the following day will be the yoga sequence for your lower extremities. All right. Have a blessed day.